Hi, Jasmine. Are you having fun? I want to answer some questions that some of you had from my last video. I mentioned that my birds don't step up and some of you assume that none of my birds step up ever. And what I meant was just at nighttime before bed as they want to stay out because uh, before I would get them to step up and put them in their cage and they would go to bed and they don't, they don't like that. So I just get them in the cage the way I do in my previous video. And I want to show you how some of my birds do step up still, especially to come out of the cage and what I feed them. Because a lot of people said, oh, you got a lot of seeds and a lot of uh, those supreme pellets, which I do feed, yes. But this is what they're getting today and what they get most days all day long. I give them fresh foods. This is sprouts, sprouts from seeds, grains, and beans and dark leafy greens. And there's a chop mix in there as well. So they got two of these bowls. There's one here and one here of the same stuff so they don't fight. And I just hung a leaf there and a leaf here. And I do feed them. I finally got my tops pellets in and here it is. This tops is supposed to be one of the best pellets as it's cold pressed. But um, Supreme is most readily available for me in my local pet store. The tops, I have to order it in and it costs a fortune to ship it. And it's always out of stock because of the pandemic. It's um, a lot of food and pet foods, even human foods, is out of, out of order. The shelves are always empty when I go to the store. So I do feed them about, I think, maybe five different types of pellets. So they don't always get their fruit supreme and it's not their only diet. I don't just feed them the pellets. They, they do get seeds. I do believe, especially small birds, um, get a lot of seeds. I really don't give my cockatiels too much seeds, but they do get spray millet and it's just a small piece and they get it at bedtime. I personally don't see a problem with it. It's not a whole sprig like I've seen a lot of people giving a whole long piece to one bird, which it just feeds on that all day long. I believe uh, variety is key, and right now I'm actually sprouting a long piece of spray millet, which they'll get in a few days. So I'm always giving them more fresh foods than the seeds and the pellets. And um, they do, they eat a variety of things, and um, a lot of water, of course, and a lot of activity. You can see all my birds coming out here. And then I got a question about my dowels. Now, the only cages that have dowels are these smaller cages on top. It's just one dowel. You can see there are other perches on top. Hey, sweetie. No, I'm going to let you out And when they sleep, they sleep up there. They're different um, sizes. You can see they have different perches. Birds usually stay up high. So um, they don't really stay on these dowels. And the reason dowels are bad, sorry, my birds are loud. It's because they're just uniform and they're kind of a little bit slippery. They're just uniform in length. Um, but sometimes I even find these natural branches are uniform in length. So I got different size uh, perches in there and different um, textures. But they're all out here. They don't even stay in their cages all day. So they're all out flying around, hanging around up there. They land up here. They go up there. They go up here, they go on flat surfaces, they land on top of the cages, wherever they want to um, stay, and they go on the floor. So they do have different uh, variety of places where they can land to exercise their feet. None of my large cages have the dowel, or well, maybe one. Actually, maybe this the budget one. Just because it goes straight across, but they have a lot of other perches on there. So I'm going to show you how my birds do step up, but... Honestly, my birds in my bird room prefer just to be birds than to be with me and be handled all the time. Monty, come here, baby. There's Monty. He's on my hand, but he's going to take off any second. But he will let me pat him sometimes. He will step up with me. But he prefers to be a bird. Come on. Come on. See? Oh, but there he goes again. He wants to be free. So, I mean, the goal for my bird room isn't that I have all these... Uh, same birds. They do step up. See? Come on. There you go. There you go. Okay. Willow. Come on. See? <laughs> and now they're going to go eat. Where'd Monty go? Monty's up there. All right. And my borks as well. Um, raspberry is the tamest one. The other ones weren't, um, like, they were born here, so I didn't hand raise them. 
but they will step up at times. So let's just see. Come on. Here we go. There, see? Here's one. This is, I think that was Ruffles. Who's left? Hi, babies. And sometimes they're just too excited. They don't want to step up because they just want to fly out. There we go. Hi, baby. That was Raindrop. Raspberry, where are you? That's not Raspberry. That's Rascal. He's, he's the less tame. But Raspberry, he's my, uh, come here, baby. He's my tamest one. And he, he waves and he steps up. He loves to land on me. He kisses me. He's, uh, you know, he's very tame. They will step up. Come on. When they want to. I don't enforce it and I don't, um, you know, make them do it all the time. But look at this. See? Oh, it might be a little bittery. That's raspberry. Are you a good boy? You want to go eat some fresh fruit? You go over there. Alrighty. So, let's see. And the budgies. I have seven budgies. Five of them are not tame. Like, tame. I mean, stepping up wise. Two of them were found. Oh, a couple of them were found outside, actually. Jack was found outside. And the two recent ones were lightning and thunder. I have no idea where they come from. But, but they don't step up at all. And, um... The only ones that step up are, hi baby, this is Splash, because he was born here. Splash and Sterling, the gray one up there. But when I open this door, they just fly out. They will step up on me if they want to. But like I said, I don't really enforce it. It doesn't bother me if they don't step up. Let's see if Sterling will. Sterling, where'd you go? Sterling, come on. What? Up. There we go. See? But once they're out, they just want to have a great time. I'm sure they like my company in here, but they just want to, you know, fly around and be birds. Oh, well, there's Jingles. He's into the greens already. Yay! Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, there she goes. Hi, Starfire. Yeah, well, you're biting me at the same time. Hey. You want to go play? Isn't she beautiful? I guess you'll want to go eat some food here. There we go, baby. There we go. Oh, she likes that. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. And my other sport parakeet. This is uh, Rosie. He's like 14. He stays in his own cage in the evening because Raspberry will beat him up. But he doesn't, they don't fight when they're out. And yes, he does have a dowel, but he sleeps up there and he's just in here for the night. I would never be cruel to my birds or give them something that's not comfortable. But I will be changing that dowel just to show that dowels are bad, I guess. But uh, sometimes dowels, when they're low, it's, it's okay. I mean, it's not going to kill them. But if, uh, you know, I'll do what's best for him, and I will change that out. Good boy. He's just excited right now. He usually steps up, but good boy. He doesn't want to step up right now. Okay, if he doesn't want to step up, that's okay. He'll come out. But he does. He steps up on me. He lands on me. Come on. Okay, come on. He can come out. And he does have leftover seeds from last night. Because I believe, especially Bork, need some seed. There are my lovebird sprinkles. Come on, baby. Oh, he stepped up on me, but I didn't get it into the uh, camera. But he, I don't know where he went. Oh, he's up there on the curtain. No, don't go up there. He likes to go in the curtain and regurgitate up there. You see how dirty it is. He just wants to have babies up there. Have babies with the budgies. <laughs> But he comes to me, he flies to me, he gets massages. He actually flies into my uh, living room area. He just he flies through the curtains and he comes for nice little rubs and he takes baths in our hands. So yes, he is still very tame, but very excited when I first let them out. Hey. And there you see the buggies. They love their fresh food. And just remember, the seeds that we do feed our birds, I mean, they don't find those seeds in the wild. In the wild, they eat, they eat fresh sprouted seeds, so like sprouts. So seeds, seeds is not good for them, and neither is pellets, really, but 
We do what we can for our birds to give them all the vitamins and minerals they need, but fresh foods are the way to go. And now it's getting very noisy in here. What are you guys doing up there? Hello, you have two boyfriends. The buddies are having a they're having a feast over there. Summer, you wanna come out? You made a mess already, huh? I just cleaned the fridge this morning. Alright, so Summer, I don't know, she might cause a problem. I have to watch her with uh, Dazzle. She's the one who doesn't really step up anymore. Look at that, she stole the whole piece. Oh, you dropped it. So it doesn't really matter if they step up or not to me, as long as they know where, where their cage is and, and they go back in at night. Summer sure does love to bathe. He's always the first one in there. That's all. What are you doing? Time to go back in? Alright, troublemakers, you want to come out? No, it's going to be all chaos when they come out. Hi, Glitter. Are you busy eating? Okay, I won't disturb you. She's a cute little girl, and she will step up and land on me, land on my head and my shoulders. And she's going to chase Jingles away. Why do you chase Jingles away? That's not nice. No, it's not nice. You can eat. She likes the top pellets. Mmm, yummy. Oh, you threw it on the floor. You like that? Yeah. She's gonna land on me. See, she's coming over. You wanna step up? No, nope. she's rather land on my head. Oh, you come on. Oh, on my phone. <laughs> hey, so pretty. So beautiful. Hi, Splash. Hi, baby. Good boy. You're going all the way up my shoulder. I can't even see you now. Hi, Yasei. Come on, baby. There we go. You're so beautiful. Oh, you're so beautiful. Yes, you are. Pretty baby. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> Keeps going up my shoulder. Hi, 
everything. Hey, baby. What are you doing? Hmm? Are you a good boy? What a good boy. Good boy. Oh, hi. Hi, beautiful baby. Let's go. Let's go. Hi, Sterling. You're so cute. Great job. Look at you, you're so colorful, so pretty. She's the most colorful fork that I have. Beautiful girl. All my birds are having fun. They prefer to be just doing whatever they want, like to be birds, preening, hanging out with each other, arguing, singing, eating, preening. The forks, there's three of them down there. One's over there. So they go in and out of the cages whenever they like. So I am on Instagram and I have a Facebook page. All the links are down below in the description. If you want to come follow me there, just click on the links and you'll find me. And then you can see more pictures, the pictures of my birds and my other pets as well. And sometimes I post different videos on there, like just small videos on the Facebook and Instagram. So you can come and see me there. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, you can subscribe so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Good night, Rosie. See, he's sleeping on the other perch and not the dowel. Good night, Rosie.